the cliché used in many critics' reviews is that a work of art can be seen as a window into another world, and a connection to some form of emotion unknown and yet familiar. The Roncini Gallery is currently exhibiting a form of art that is gaining more and more popularity over the years, whether it be through popular sales, exhibitions, or street art. This is the world of the miniature, and the exhibition, Dream No Small Dreams. This collaboration is a result of a meeting between the New York-based curator Bartholomew Bland and the editor of Elephant Magazine, Mark Valley. Artists are on display, Adrian Broom, Thomas Doyle, and Patrick Jacobs. Each have their own unique concepts, but equally important is how they are exhibited. Thomas Doyle creates scenes representing something out of a nightmare. There is an uneasy feeling of familiarity and security towards the suburban houses, mixed with the thoughts of anxiety and loss as the characters depicted are stripped of this luxury. The tiny scene is placed within a glass dome and we, the viewer, are invited to another world that runs parallel with our own, and yet we can never enter. Rather than looking directly at players upon a stage, we're looking over their shoulders, into their own lives. Thus, the viewing becomes an experience. I think of it as a, a figure to me in my work as a vehicle, because they're, they're all really, um, the focus is really psychological. It's about the human experience. So the work that I've done that, that doesn't have figures is always really sort of flat to me. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm trying to do, and when I document the work and shoot with macro, with a macro lens, I'm often shooting over the shoulder of the figure because I want you to see what he or she sees. And that's a big part of it. So they're often, the figures often have their back to you, um, which is the case in. Um, three or four of these pieces here. Because you're, you're meant to crouch to their level and look over their shoulder and sort of enter the work that way. So Patrick Jacobs purposefully does not have characters or a 360-degree view. The power of his work comes from pure hyper-realism. By using paper, plastic, acrylic, and metal, Patrick Jacobs then exhibits his work through a two-inch wide lens installed into the walls of the gallery. The result is an illusion so powerful you would swear you were looking into the portal of an unobtainable world, one that is still quiet, bright, vibrant, a window into joy. Well, the fact that you don't use figures in your work, that they... That it comes from that. It, it comes from that, that you were talking yesterday about how um, you wanted the viewer to sort of become a figure. Yes. In a way, and it sort of take the place uh, sort of Right. I mean, for me, if I were to take figures, uh, sculpture, or, or not even figures, but anything living, uh, anything that would be moving naturally, and put it in there, to me, you become, uh, you're a distance from it. You don't enter it, sort of, mentally. So things, for me, are more interesting. Like those photographs, they're very still, very quiet. You, the sort of psychic space, like you sort of can imagine yourself um, being transported to that space. Adrian Broom displays a series of photographs called Frames of Mind. Being framed pictures, these focus on content of work rather than how they are observed. They are a collection of scenes constructed into several fantasy worlds, leaving us with a somber feeling of childhood wonder. Yeah, I think, I mean, with my work it's usually just about the story, the personal story. 
that you're kind of trying to relate to and I think it's different for everyone. And I think when I shoot these, it's really nice to do with however I am in that moment. And it usually comes out completely non official. People walking through the gallery in which the exhibited treasures have said it's like being a child again, seeing the world through the eyes of three talented artists. The exhibition, Dream No Small Dreams, is at the Roncini Gallery until the 5th of October. This is the world of the miniature.